Well, this is Artifacts Mars. I got kicked in the teeth with New York State today. I, this is the first time I've seen this in the stores that you couldn't get lead uh, for split shots and sinkers and such. Half an ounce or more, I guess they can still use lead. What they're claiming is that it's killing the loons. Actually, the loons are the ones that make up these laws. Now, I'm going to go, there's a specific reason, folks, why you will not catch fish with steel sinkers. And I will go as far as to make a public uh, guarantee of this. I'll go as far as to give the first person who can prove me wrong, not with a video on YouTube, no. Prove me wrong in person to my satisfaction, I'll give you a hundred bucks. Which means you'd have to come to the Finger Lakes. One of the Finger Lakes, uh, Hemlock, Canned Ice, Canisius, Mendham Ponds, that area. I, I double dog dare anybody to try to prove me wrong. You will not catch fish using steel. There's a specific reason. I've tried to find out who the moron, who the morons were voted for this, and so far it's come up empty. Uh, here's a moron at moron site. Why fish lead flea? Lead free angler's guide where to buy tackle disposal. Angler's guide to fishing lead free. This is just absurd. They are environmentally safe. Okay. They have more sound producing qualities to call in fish and up your catch. 100% lie. I, I'm not even sure what that means, to be honest with you. That's 100% bogus. Tungsten is more dense and hard than lead and allows the angler to feel the bait more effectively, which in turn helps the angler feel the bite. You won't get any bites. Like I said, I'm only dealing with st uh, steel. Tin, bismuth, and steel alloy tackle are lighter than lead, and but many anglers have reported good success with the use of less weight. Long for more natural appearance and presentation of the bait or lower use. Any zinc containing fishing tackle is not recommended because... It is also toxic to wildlife. So, I don't know what they're using for uh, galvanization. We'll get to that. Where to buy lead-free tackle in New York? Because it's illegal to sell sinkers one half ounce or less. Also, all New York stores who sell fishing tackle should carry lead-free sinkers one half ounce or less. I guess I'm going to have to learn to smell it myself. This is unbelievable. Uh, I said, I go over the law in this segment. Lead fishing and weights and loons. Loons are the ones that make up these laws. The common loon charismatic symbol of our northern lakes Faces a variety of threats linked to human activity, among them is lead poisoning from the ingestion of lead fishing weights. Since 1987, nearly half of adult loons found dead or more abundant in New England freshwater lakes submitted to the Tufts University Wildlife Clinic have been diagnosed with lead poisoning. In New York, lead po 
Poisoning has accounted for about 30% of loon mortality documented, excluding mass mortalities from type E botulism on Lake Erie in recent years. I think this is horse stuck, to be honest with you, but, uh, lead fishing lakes and just by loons can be categorized as sinkers or weights, mostly weighted hooks, i.e. jigs. Both sinkers and weighted lures are frequently lost on snagged on rocks, palm trees, or other submerged hazards. They are sometimes simple drops or spill when handling and not recovered. Why loons consume these objects has not been studied, but the reasons are likely multiple. It has been proposed that loons mistake lost sinkers for the small stones they regularly ingest to help grind fish bones and crustacean shell in their muscular stomach. And it goes on and on. Uh, so if you can get lead tackle, you can still use it, which is good. I'll find a way. I'll, uh, see if I can get this on eBay. Like I said, I'm only talking about steel here. You will not get any fish with steel sinkers. And in part two... I'm going to go over the reason why. There's a sound scientific reason. If you're not a metallurgist, don't argue with me. I don't care who you are. If you're not a metal metallurgist and you don't have a basic knowledge of how things work with wildlife, with fish, and other aquatic species, don't argue with me, because I will, I will do circles around you. I'm trying to find out who's responsible for this outrage, but I haven't. Well, there you have it. At any rate, uh, this is the New York War on uh, Anglers, Part 1. Thanks for watching. We'll go to part two and do some technical stuff.